Hi there. A number of years ago, when anti-static bags became all the rage amongst fly tires, many of us were scrambling to find bags. Some of us successfully visited electronics stores and got a supply there. Others of us had to shop online. And like many of you, I bought a whole raft of these off Amazon years ago. Now I've still got them all, a whole lifetime supply in fact. The problem is how do I turn these into tiny little strips I want to use to tie my flies? In fact, I want to cut them to varying widths. Some of my flies are as tiny as number 16 coronament pupa. They need a very thin strip. Others are a little larger, like scud backs. Well, I found a simple way. Let me show you how. and welcome to my fly bench. Today, many fly shops are carrying anti-static bag strips pre-cut, a fantastic innovation. Buy as much or as little as you want. In fact, they often come in different tints. But like many of you back in the day when anti-static bags began to be popular amongst fly tires, I bought a whole raft of them on Amazon. Now I don't want to throw them out. I do want to use them and I don't want to buy strips when I have these. So how do I go about doing that? Let me show you how. I went to a shop that sold a metal ruler. I think I actually picked this up at Canadian Tire. Cut it in half with a hacksaw. Take those two halves and then tape them together with duct tape on the end with the metal face facing in. So here I've got the cork on the outside. As you can see, I've got an anti-static bag bag in there between the two metal halves. What I, all I do now is I align that top end of the, beat, the uh, bag up with the width I want to make and I simply cut it with a safety razor. Let me show you that close up. So here I've got my anti-static bag holder made out of the two halves of the ruler duct taped on the ends with the bag slipped up between the two metal sides on the sandwiched in there. All I do now is I slide that bag up or down to create the width I want and simply cut it with a safety razor like so. I end up with a strip exactly as wide or as narrow as I want. Let me try to get that in focus there for you. The neat thing about this is I can also do tapered strips extremely thin. I did that first one wide just to show you what could be accomplished and how easy it is. Now I want to cut a very thin strip for small flies. My smallest chronomids are 16s and I want to get a very narrow strip there so I barely poke it out. Take that safety razor and it'll just shave that strip down for me as narrow as I want. The fact is now I tapered my strips. This is the first one that was cut quite wide for larger flies. Here's the next one quite a bit narrower for smaller flies and it's actually tapered down to a very narrow point at the far end. That's something you still can't get buying it in pre-cut strips. So there you have it. You can cut your own anti-static bag strips using your metal ruler holder and you can use these things up and not fill, put them in the landfill. Great way to use up material and catch fish on the side. Good luck out there. Thanks for watching.